in this video we are going to see a problem of mesh analysis with independent sources only this will just to explain how to apply mesh analysis to the circuit so based on this we will see a videos where we can apply mesh analysis to dependent sources also so here we are having a circuit where these are the independent sources given voltage sources registers are given and the statement is find the current through 5 ohm register using mesh analysis so the technique is you have to find out first how many meshes are there so meshes are nothing but a smallest closed loops present in the circuit so i can consider this is a first mesh and i will pass the current in clockwise direction say i1 for this it is a second current i2 and for third mesh it is i3 whenever current flows through the resistor it will develop the voltage drop across it plus minus in the direction of current so this mark all voltage drops also this is for mesh 1 mesh 2 and mesh 3 so after applying a current to the circuit and based on the current of voltage drop we are ready for application of kvl so let's apply KVL to mesh 1. So this is our mesh 1. Let's start from this point. Plus minus. Or you can start from this any point you can start. Let's start from the voltage source. So let's start from here. So here to here. Minus plus. Remember convention minus plus is plus so i can say it's a 10 then plus minus minus one is the register and current is i1 so it's a i1 only plus minus minus 3 i1 so across three ohm there are two drops one is because of i1 and second is because of i2 and they are in opposite direction so for i1 it is plus minus hence minus 3 i1 for i2 in this direction it is minus plus so it has to be plus 3 i2 then over here plus minus so that is minus 6 i1 and 6 is common between first and third mesh and for third mesh it is minus plus that is plus 6 i3 equal to zero let's simplify this that means let's club all i1 i2 i3 terms together and constant on another side of the equation which will give us a final equation as minus 10 i1 plus 3 i2 plus 6 i3 equal to minus 10 as a equation number one so you need to be very clear with the technique that you are using to get an equation because using a calculator to solve this equation will get a final answer let's go ahead and apply kvl to mesh 2 so mesh 2 is this let's start from here so it's a plus minus minus 2 i2 plus minus minus 5 i2 plus minus minus 5 plus minus minus 3 i2 and minus plus which is plus 3 i1 equal to 0 so once again we can simplify this and after simplification we will get a second equation as 
थ्री आई वन माइनस टेन आई टू इक्वल टू फाइव इक्वेशन नंबर टू एंड लेट्स अप्लाई के वी एल टू मैच थ्री So mesh three is this. Let's start from here. Plus minus, which is minus four i three minus plus plus twenty plus minus minus six i three and minus plus plus six i one minus plus plus five. Equal to zero. If I simplify, I will get six i one minus ten i three equal to minus twenty five as equation number three. So we are having three meshes, three equations. Three unknowns. I one, I two, I three. If we solve equation one, two, and equation three, we will get I one, I two, I three as four point two seven two seven ampere as I one, I two zero point seven eight. One eight ampere, and I three we will get five point zero six three six ampere. Then we will check what current exactly we want in the equation. So in equation, or rather in a question, they ask current through phi ohm, and phi ohm is this where I two is flowing. So I two is nothing but I five one. So I can say I five one is nothing but I two, which is zero point seven eight one eight ampere. And see, we are getting the answer positive. That means whatever the current direction we mark is correct. So for this five one, this I two is flowing downward. Hence, I will say current flowing through phi ohm is zero point seven eight one ever ampere downward. So this is our complete answer. So here a simple circuit we have considered just to demonstrate how to use KVL in order to apply in a circuit. Where to get a loop currents using a mesh analysis? So basically, it's called as a mesh analysis only. But here, the fundamental law that used is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Thank you.